before I get started, I want to show you something really quick. Uh, Y'all know what that is? It's summertime. Uh, these are everywhere. They have Walmart. They're just all over the place. I got this one at the dollar store for $1. Um, you see, we used a, a yoga mat, and that was a little difficult for people to make. You had to get a die cutter to actually cut through there, and the little crap foam. These look nice, they're pretty, they fit in there really neat, but they didn't really, they, they're good for small crops like your pak choy, your lettuce if you grow them just at the baby green stage, um, but, but they're really soft, so they work for a lot of things. But people asking me to grow some other crops like the um, Swiss chard and that. It gets big and actually needs a little more support. We're going to try this because these were kind of difficult to cut. They were cheap but difficult. But with this noodle or spoodle, whatever they're called, a little hacksaw, it needs about a half an inch. And doesn't take anything to cut through that. And we're gonna take that, that's just a little bit bigger than our two inch cups that we're using. So, we're just gonna cut a little piece out, and see if that fits. Just real snug, see, and that's gonna be a lot firmer than our yoga mat. It was real soft, that's actually a lot tougher. And a little space in there you can to hold your transplants. If you're buying a transplant from like uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or what have you, you rinse off the roots like we've showed you, it'll fit right in there and they'll hold it up. If you're going to transplant a little smaller microgreen into there, you put cotton, use something natural, or what I'm gonna use is our BioStraight. Buy those in the 10 by 20 mats and I use those as a wicking system for our microgreens. And when I cut them up, there's always that extra. And I don't like to waste anything, so we're just gonna cut little pieces of that and shove it in there. And I'll make a nice little pillow for our tender little sprouts. So let's get started doing that. Seventy-seven. Let's say seventy-five. That's one dollar's worth. I mean, you can't beat that. <laughs> 